Hi dear students, last classes we learned the projection of a point. I know you haven't get a clear idea about the projection. So I am using a method which will show the projection of a point and projection situated in a space and from this you can get a clear idea of projection of points. We know space. Space is an area having law limits. Here we put an object or a point and from that object we got the image on the planes. So plane is essential in the projection method. The whole space that we can be divided into two by means of the planes. Okay. This is a plane. You can see it. This is the plane known as horizontal plane. What mean by horizontal plane? It's a plane parallel to the water surface of a resting water. And this plane can divide the whole space into two above the plane and below the plane. That is above HP and below HP. Here we can put a point above HP or below HP. Same like again we divide into space into two by means of a vertical plane. Vertical plane is what? which is perpendicular to the HP or horizontal plane. Here there is two restrictions. One is above and another is in front of the HP. So that we can locate a point here. According to our theory, space can be divided into four and that is which are named as quadrants. This one is first quadrant and this one is second, this one is third and last fourth quadrant. We are going through first time the projection of point which is located in the first quadrant. Here I am showing the location of a point. This one is a point which is 40 mm above HP. Can you see? And this one is XY line. So, above XY line, this point is 30 mm above. First, we draw the XY line. This is point named P. It is 30 mm above HP. The observer that is V. We are st standing here and looking the point and we can see the image on the paper or vertical plane 30 mm above like this. Then the observer is coming to top side and we can see the image of the point P is 20 mm in front of VP. That is from XY line, this is 20 mm. Here we can see two images. One is on VP and the other is on SP. On the VP, we get the elevation of the point which is denoted by P dash because the name of the point is P and we can see the image on the VP is named as P dash and from the top side we got the image on HP it is named as P but this is a 3D surface 
here it is one perpendicular and it is a horizontal we want to draw the projection on a paper that is a 2d surface to make the 3d images to the 2d we are rotating the horizontal plane clockwisely like this then we can see 30 mm above sp there is point p dash and 20 mm in front of it it is known as p plan we can draw the elevation on the paper here i am drawing it on our board to solve the question we draw xy line on the book a straight line name it x and y then draw a perpendicular line it's, it must be a thin line like this we know the height of the point from the x-ray line is 30 mm measure 30 from here to here and mark it p dash then it is 20 mm in front of vp we turn the sp clockwisely then we saw it is 20 mm be below the HP. So 20 mm below mark point and the name it is P. Then draw a thin line here and here. Then mark like this. Draw arrow mark at the end. Write the dimensions 20 then 30. This answer of the question. You have to do the questions as per this method. Okay.